Hey everyone, this is Xtal. Today we're going to create a glass refraction effect that is a transparent 3D surface that visually distorts the background as if seen through glass. In this tutorial, we'll focus on three main nodes, Fong Mat, Displace, and the Render Top. I'll walk you through each step and explain how we can simulate the look of glass distortion inside Touch Designer. Visually, it's going to feel like a piece of glass or ice is warping the background, giving us a realistic and dynamic look. Let's get started. Let's start by adding a box top. We'll adjust the size and increase the divisions to break up the surface. More divisions mean the surface is more detailed, which helps when we apply displacement later, it'll look smoother and more natural. You can also use other shapes or import a 3D model instead. What matters is having enough surface detail to work with. Next, connect a wire sop to the box, then change the wire radius value to 1. This will make the edges of the box smoother and more defined. Now connect the geo to the wire sop. Now we'll create a fong mat and assign it to the geo. This material adds lighting and shadows to the 3D geometry, helping the shape look more realistic and three-dimensional. Now, to add natural motion to the geo, we'll use a noise chop. The noise chop generates random, non-uniform values over time, which we can use to drive deformations on the geometry surface. By applying this noise, the refraction effect becomes more dynamic and alive, moving away from a static look to something more organic. Next, 
To control the transparency of the box we created, we add another geo. This additional geo lets us adjust transparency in the material or apply alpha blending effects. Controlling transparency like this helps create a more natural, glass-like look. Connect a constant material to GO2 by lowering the alpha value in this constant. You can make it transparent for now. Adjust it roughly, then fine-tune after seeing how it looks combined with the background. Bring in the render top. The render top renders the 3D scene into a 2D image. Since it processes the geometry, materials, and lighting we set up, it's an essential node to display the final output on the screen. Bring in the render pass. The render pass lets you specify which camera or light to use when rendering, which is useful for rendering scenes in multiple passes. Connect GO2 to the geometry input of the render pass. Similarly, connect GEO1 to the geometry input of the render. Connect the noise we created earlier to GEO2, adding motion to the text and tie channels of the GEO. This makes the geometry move naturally along the X and Y axes, creating a more dynamic and lively refraction effect. Connect a displaced top to the render. The reason we connect a displaced top to the render is because this node applies pixel level displacement based on the rendered image. Especially for glass refraction effects, we need to create visual distortions that mimic how the background bends or warps. The displaced top accomplishes this by applying those displacements directly to the image. In other words, it not only complements the geometric deformation, but also distorts the rendered image itself, helping achieve a more realistic refraction effect. Bring in an image or video to composite under the glass box. I'll use a video showing a forest to enhance the realistic feel of the glass refraction effect. The original video has a strong, vivid color tone, so I'll use a monochrome top node to adjust the saturation. This helps soften the colors, making the video look more natural and blend better with the glass refraction effect. Then, connect an in top. The in-top is used to import images output from other comps or networks. In this glass refraction effect, it lets us bring in the adjusted video or image so we can connect it to other nodes or perform further processing. In short, it's an essential node for managing multiple sources flexibly 
and keeping the image flow clear in complex networks. Now, bring in a multiply top node and connect it to both the displace top and the render pass. This combines the two images using multiplication, allowing us to naturally blend the distortion from the displacement with the original render output. Finally, use an overtop to composite the glass refraction box over the background video one more time. This step helps blend the distorted box edges naturally with the background, creating a visual effect that mimics how light bends through glass. It also enhances transparency and reflection, resulting in a more realistic outcome. Now, connect the out top to a movie file out node to finalize the setup for exporting the result. The out top defines the final image output from the network, while the movie file out encodes and saves that image sequence as a video file. Once this step is done, the glass refraction effect is fully complete, and you can render the final result to use in interactive visuals, video content, or poster designs. Make sure to also check the export settings like resolution frame rate and codec to ensure high quality output. This time, instead of using the forest video, let's try something with a different vibe. Even a metallic or experimental texture can work really well. Since the glass refraction effect changes dramatically depending on the background, try using various types of footage and explore what fits your own style best. The more you experiment, the more interesting results you'll discover. Today, we created a 3D refraction effect using Touch Designer, mimicking the look of light bending through glass. The important thing is not just following nodes step by step, but experimenting and evolving it to match your own creative style. This technique can be used for posters, videos, or interactive visuals, so feel free to reinterpret it through your own visual language. The project file for today's glass effect is available on my Patreon if you'd like to download and explore it further. I'm Xtail. Thanks for watching.